What's up guys, in this video, you're gonna learn my favorite in-season recovery methods to maximize performance on the field this spring. I've used these same recovery methods in my playing career um, from college to pro level. Um, once I found out about them, I mean, they, they were great for me. I use them with my athletes. They're recovering awesome. They're having great seasons this spring. And you know, now I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna highlight five of my favorite in-season recovery methods for you guys today. Um, I'm also going to show you a new research study I found that major league teams conducted to learn more about their players' recovery and how to maximize their players' performance. I think it's really cool. I think you guys are going to like that a lot. In-season recovery method number one, mobility circuits. This is my favorite. Um, you can also call this movement training. Um, so what this pretty much is, is you're constantly moving through different mobility exercises or arm care exercises or however you want to do it for 30 to 45 minutes. And what, what that is, is you're gonna improve range of motion, improve posture, um, or restore range of motion, I should say. And um, you're gonna get the aerobic effect too. So by constantly moving, it's pretty tough. Um, you're promoting blood flow throughout your whole body. In fact, I did it with a high school pitcher last week um, in between you know, grueling workouts. And he said it was really tough when he was doing it, but the next day he felt fantastic. He felt like he was 100% recovered, which is the goal there. Um, you know, I did this with college pitchers in the off season when we were training in between grueling workouts. They loved it as well. It had them, you know, great the next day, ready to train. They were recovered perfect. Um, so this is a great way you can, you know, you, you guys can do this in season. I used it in season. It worked well for me too when I played. But uh, pitchers, you can do this um, post-start instead of a flush run. You can do this to actually restore range of motion, improve your posture, and get the same aerobic effect, if not a better one, than running poles. Recovery method number two, GPP aerobic circuits. So how I do this is I, I incorporate this uh, post-start as well. These, these are interchangeable with mobility circuits. So I schedule a mobility circuit one day of the week and I schedule a GPP aerobic circuit another day. They're pretty much the same thing, only with GPP aerobic circuit, you're kind of... I use like more uh, strength exercises, I guess, with it. So like I'll use a band pull-apart or a... Uh, a med overhead med ball slam, but the thing you have to remember is you have to go 60-70% effort with everything. You can't go over that or else you're not really, you're going over the aerobic aerobic range or whatever you want to call it. So, so pretty much the guidelines for this, I pick two to six movements and I have them cycle through for 10 to 20 minutes through. Um, you know, I, I set, we set the time before we go, but they're cycling through two to six move, easy to master movements for, you know, 10 to 20 minutes. They're pretty gas. It's pretty tough, but they are, you know, training aerobically and promoting blood flow through, throughout across the whole body, and they're recovering better. So this is another way. Same thing as mobility circuit. You can add this in right after a start. Great way to, uh, you know, recover. In season recovery method number three, SMR, self myofascial release. And what this, what that basically means is just foam rolling, lacrosse ball rolling. You can use a baseball. Um, there's a bunch of mobility toys they have now. A lot of companies are coming out with different ones. They're all great. Um, and, and you know, the goal of that is just restore movement quality post game. I did this actually before I played for like 10 minutes or so on just tight areas I had. And then I would do it, it um, after a game. If I knew I was going to like, if it was a long game, I knew it was going to be sore. I would do it right after or like maybe you, you, you eat, you come home and then you do it before bed. It's a great way to, you know, recover better from games I, I i swear by it i have all my guys do it they love it um and it's just a simple way you can you know recover faster from a game and play 100 percent the next day um i'm gonna link a video uh, a link to the article about this below um because i wrote a whole article on self myofascial release smr work how some big leaguers are incorporating it every day in their routine etc so uh, if you want to learn more about that i'll tag the link right below Okay, our fourth in-season recovery method is, you guys should know this one, sleep. Um, no shocker here, you know, I, I was looking up sleep and I didn't want to just write, you know, sleep is the in-season recovery protocol number four. I, I kind of wanted to, you know, research it. Why is sleep so good? What What's what's so good about sleep that, you know, improves recovery? And I found a ton of stuff, a ton of good stuff. But um, I came across this article by Jorge Ortiz of the USA Today um, and you know, I kind of want to, I have this on my computer right now. I kind of want to read you the, the findings of this. I thought this was really good. Um, talking about sleep and, you know, how it's a great in-season recovery method that a lot of major league teams are using now. 
Um, so a Boston based WHOOP W H O O P performance optimization company with cooperation with Major League Baseball confirm a correlation between monitoring recovery and quality of play. The findings which were to be announced Wednesday morning are based on a study of 230 minor league minor leaguers from nine big league organizations, among them all five clubs in the American League East. These players voluntarily wore the fitness tracker, similar to a wristwatch, but without a screen at all times except during the games, and had their levels of strain, recovery, and sleep measured and analyzed. The data would be reported through an app on their smartphones along with the analysis and recommendations for individualized programs. The most exciting findings, and this is the, this is the part that I really thought was really cool, the findings of this, um, the most exciting finding was seeing how close recovery co correlated, excuse me, with performance, said Will Ahmed, co-founder of the CEO of the organization that ran the study. The higher recovered a pitcher was, the faster their pitch velocity was relative to their average. And, and they saw the same correlation with exit velocity, which I just think that's that was a great a great little point. Um, this also this study talks about how certain teams are, you know, really taking this serious now um, when the recovery of their players because they're realizing, you know, um, the better in season recovery methods they have for their players, you know, the better their performance on the field. So um, I actually saw in this article, too, they talk about the San Francisco Giants who actually have a sleep room in their clubhouse now. And they have um, – they also – they consult with sleep experts, too. And uh, they kind of, you know, pick the least disruptive times to travel in the season and playoffs. And, I mean, they've won the World Series in the past couple – three times in the last couple of years. So, um, so, yeah, sleep is important for recovery, needless to say. And the last in-season recovery method I want to talk about today, tip number five, is nutrition. Um, nutrition is a huge problem in-season. Not a lot of kids are getting, you know, as, as much quality protein, carbohydrate, and fats that their body needs. Um, you know, when I played, um, especially in, like, summer ball leagues and even in college, in college summer ball leagues especially, though, um, kids weren't just, kids weren't eating for, like, 10 hours at a time and, they were losing muscle and they were asking me, Hey, why am I losing muscle? Why am I like, why are you so strong still? And why am I losing muscle? Well, because they weren't eating for 10 hours at a time. And then when they ate, they ate two hot dogs after a game or something. And that's not what your body needs to recover. I mean, I know ice cream, pizza and all that stuff tastes good, but your body needs quality protein, quality carbs and quality fats um, to grow and recover. So nutrient dense foods, fruits, everything like that. Um, I have a whole, article again i'll post this one below on nutrition everything i have my athletes eat um below but you got to remember nutrition's huge with recovery you know it's it's huge because you need to you need to you need to provide your body with quality protein carbs and fats so your body can repair that damaged muscle i mean you're 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 playing games all week you're training sometimes a couple times a week your body's going through a lot of stress it needs to eat it needs a lot of food um so you have to provide it with the qual um, quality macronutrients i wasn't going to say this but i, I want to add a bonus as well i want to talk about um icing my icing your arm and shoulder post game because a lot of kids are asking me this question um as an in-season recovery method uh honestly i think it's all personal preference i iced uh, sporadically over my career uh I didn't see too much benefit from it. A lot of guys I played would swear by it. A lot of guy, other guys didn't like it as well. I really like saunas. I think they helped me as well. Um, but I've heard guys that say they don't like it either. Again, personal preference. So I put, you know, saunas, Epsom salt baths, um, icing your arm and shoulder, all in the same category. So that's just personal preference. I'm not going to say that's my favorite in-season recovery method at all or anything like that. So um, that's on you guys. If you like it, keep doing it. It works for you. It works for you. Uh, it didn't work for me as well, so I don't want to like prescribe something that didn't really work for me 100%. Um, but yeah, that's another another one that's all just based on personal preference. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed my five in-season recovery methods to maximize your performance this spring. Um, if you guys need anything else, drop a comment below. I'd love to get back to you. I'd love to talk to you guys. And also make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next week, guys.